Hello everybody, welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. In this video, we're going to learn all about purchase history conditions. Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. As WooCommerce store owners, we would like to encourage our customers by providing discounts based on purchase history, isn't it? So in this video, I'm going to take you through the different purchase history conditions that are available and how you can make use of them. Alright, let's first go to the WordPress dashboard. Under WooCommerce, you'll find Wood Discount Rules. And if you click on Add New Rule, you'll be able to create your new rule. Alright. There are different purchase history conditions that you can set using the Discount Rules plugin. Let me just show you those purchase history conditions first and then we'll go back to creating the rules all right so here you will find the different purchase history conditions that are available like first order last order last order amount number of orders made number of orders made with the following products where specific products are to be purchased by customers and then number of quantities made with the following products and then total spent so all of these are the different varieties of conditions you can add to your rules to make it purchase history discount, right? Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a few common examples of purchase history conditions. All right, so let's go. Let's create the first rule by clicking on add new rule. And the first thing that we're going to see is the last order amount purchase history condition all right so we're going to offer a 5% off let me enter the title side by side so we're going to offer 5% off on all products if the previous order amount meaning the last order amount is greater than 100 all right So yeah, if the previous order of the customers equals to at least 100, then we, we are going to offer a 5% discount on the current order. Alright, nice. So this is the rule title. After we select the rule title, we are going to enter the discount type to be product adjustment. And then here we get to decide the products that are eligible for this specific discount. I am going to leave it to all products. And then coming to discount type and value, as said, it's going to be 5% off, isn't it? So percentage discount and set the value to 5. Nice. Now comes the important step, which is to add the last order amount purchase history condition to this rule. All right. So let's go ahead and click on add condition from the drop down below. We're going to go to the purchase history condition and select last order amount. Okay. And then now we're going to define that the order amount should be greater than or equal to as discussed 100 isn't it at least 100 should be their previous orders amount that's the next thing we're going to do is we're also going to define the order statuses that qualify for this 5% off so I'm going to tell completed on hold processing so this can be according to your requirement I'm selecting these three just for my convenience after we select the order status here, we can save and close this specific rule. And the rule is ready to test. All right. Now that we have created the rule and it's active, it's time for us to test it. Let me take you to the storefront to test this specific rule. Now, if I have to qualify for the 5% discount, my previous order amount or the last order amount should be at least 100, isn't it? So let me take you to this WordPress dashboard under WooCommerce, you will see something called orders. 
so this is the user that I'm trying to get this 5% discount for and you can notice this the, that the last order made by this customer is May 30th 2023 and the total of that particular order is 47 which means we do not yet qualify for the 5% off. Why? Because, because our last order amount must be at least 100 isn't it? You can see this is only 47. So let's first place an order that is at least 100 and then see what happens all right so let me go to the storefront and add some products to cart i'll add sunglasses and polo t-shirt to the cart and take you to the cart page now my subtotal value is 110 which is at least 100 isn't it so now it's time for me to proceed to check out and place the order. You can notice that I haven't received any discount here because I do not qualify for it yet. So let me place the order. Now that I've placed the order, let me take you to the orders tab and refresh it. And here you'll be able to see that the same user has placed an order. 112 okay so the last order amount now is updated to 112 based on the last order that the customer has placed isn't it and the status of this order is on hold remember while creating the rule we have selected the order statuses processing on hold and completed which means all of these order statuses are qualified for the 5% off if the last order amount is greater than 100 right so now this specific user is qualified for the 5% off all right so let's go ahead and check if that is so to check this I'm gonna take you back to the storefront now you can notice that this specific user qualifies for 5% off because his previous order the last order amount is greater than or equal to 100 all right that is why you can see that we qualify for the 5% off. Now I can purchase any product. I'll choose this belt and I can get it for $61.75 because of the 5% discount applied to it. Let me add this to the cart. Take you to the cart page and show you that the discount is applied. That is how this last order condition works. Okay. Let's go back to the WordPress dashboard to the Woo Discount Rolls tab and create the next purchase history condition which is number of orders made with the following products all right so let me click on add new rule and then explain you the scenario in this scenario we're going to offer 50% off on a specific product if the customer have already purchased the product within this month okay so i'm going to enter 50% off on a specific product which is sunglass and only if they have purchased this product sunglasses within this month the previous month okay so let me put previous month here to see so this is the discount rule title after we enter the title let's select the discount type to be product adjustment and here we get to decide the products that are eligible for this discount. As said, I'm going to give products in list and include sunglasses to be the only product that qualifies for this discount. Okay, nice. Now setting the percentage discount and the value to 50. Nice. And then comes the important step where we get to add the condition. Click on add condition from the drop down below. Go to promo purchase history conditions and here you can select number of orders made with following products all right so if you click on number of orders made with following products you'll be able to select the product that need to be purchased by customers in the previous orders so i'm going to select sunglasses here because only if customers have purchased sunglasses in the past one month they'll be able to receive this specific discount on this current order where they buy 
the same product sunglasses for 50% off all right so i'm selecting sunglasses here since we are trying to see if customers have purchased this particular product in the past one month we're going to set the purchase before to one month and great the purchase quantity should be greater than or equal to one and here you can say search the order status all right so i'm gonna set the order statuses to on hold processing and complete it you can also choose according to your requirements after you have made this you can save and close oh we, can, we should also decide the purchase quantity which is going to be one meaning at least one sunglasses must have been purchased by the customers in the last month so they qualify for this 50 percent off on sunglasses in this order so let's go ahead and save and close this particular rule okay to check if i qualify for this discount i will have to go to the orders page and see if i have purchased sunglasses in the past one month all right so let me check let's go to may 30th and check if i have purchased sunglasses yes you can see i have purchased at least one sunglasses in the past one month and now if i go to the storefront and look for the sunglass product i qualify for the 50 percent off i am on the product page of the sunglasses and you can notice that i can receive this product for 45 dollars because i qualify for the 50 percent off all right so let me add this to the cart and why am i qualified because in the past month i have placed at least one sunglasses on my orders all right that's why i qualify for this discount this is how number of orders made with a specific product can be defined thank you so much let's go back to the discount rules dashboard and create the third first i'm going to click on add new rule and then this is the total spent purchase history condition meaning just like we saw the last order amount uh, where only the last order amount was checked and then the discount was offered here in this scenario we're going to check the total spent meaning the previous orders and their total spent and if the total spent matches the condition that we're trying to set then that particular customer receives the discount right so for this let me create a 10 percent off on all products if in the previous purchases they sum up to five hundred dollars all right nice so only if the previous purchases meaning all of the previous purchases sum up to five hundred or above they are going to get ten percent off in this current order all right so select the discount type to be product adjustment i'm going to leave it to all products because all products qualify for this specific discount set the percentage discount to the discount type and set the value to 10 nice and then now comes the important step where we get to add the total spend condition let's click on add condition from the drop down below select total spend here we go and then here we get to select the purchase history time which is all time you can also go for one month two month according to your scenario but i'm going to select all time meaning all the previous purchases of this customer is considered and if it sums up to 500 or above then they will qualify for this 10 percent off now it's time for us to set the purchase the amount should be greater than or equal to 500 as discussed in the scenario and then set the order statuses to on hold processing and complete it you can also choose other order statuses according to your scenario and then now i'm going to save and close this specific rule okay now let me take you to the orders tab and show you if i qualify for this discount meaning my previous purchases should sum up to 500 let's see so these are my previous orders since i've selected all time the plugin checks for all my previous orders and if it sums up to 500 let's see I don't think our previous purchases sum up to 500 and that's why we do not qualify for any discount on the current order 
so what we're going to do is let me purchase for Two hundred and fifty rupees more, and then increase my previous order value to sum up to five hundred, and then see if I qualify for the discount. All right. So let me go to the shop page. So let me go to the storefront and purchase something and come back. Let me add this and this to the cart. I've added two sunglasses, I guess. All right, and let me also increase polo to two. View my card. Now I do not qualify for any discount. Let me proceed to check out and place the order. Now that I've placed the order, let me go back to the orders page and refresh this page. All right, nice. Now, considering all the previous purchases I have made. and that sums up to 500 i guess now we will be qualified for the 10% off on all products right so let me take you to the store front again now you see that i qualify for the 10% off because this specific user's previous order amount sums up to 500 or above that is why all right so the plugin checks all the previous orders all the previous orders in this case because we have set all time in the rule creation that is why and then now let's go ahead and test it i'm going to purchase this beanie with logo i'm going to get this product for 18 dollars because a 10% discount is applied all right so let me add this to cart take you to the cart page and now you can notice that i have received 10% off on this specific product because my previous Order sums up to five hundred or above. This is how we go about purchase trick conditions. All right. So let me take you to the rules again. So these are the different purchase history conditions that you can add. A few of them, like first order and the number of orders made, we have a separate video on that, which should be attached in the description below. Feel free to check it out. With that being said, thank you so much for watching.